It's not every day that you get to be the first people to take a sneak peek at a new ride. But today, you are those people. What's up guys, Dr. Coaster here on behalf of the Georgia Coaster Connection, and welcome back to another Airy Force One construction update. Before we get started, I just want everyone to know that all photos and footage included in any of these updates are free to use with credit. I'd also like to thank my Georgia Coaster Connection partners, Chris and Christopher, as we gather this content together. I'll link their pages down below. After returning home from Florida, I headed back to the park this past Saturday to film the final of what I thought was gonna be a pretty basic Airy Force One construction update until we ran into John Airy Jr. himself, which was totally unexpected. Even more unexpected as he invited us behind the fence and gave us an exclusive tour of the ride that no one has been able to do before. And he let us film the whole thing. Now before we get into that footage and some more testing of the ride warmed up, he asked me to break some news about opening day. So here it is. The schedule for opening day will be as follows. From 9.30 to 12, there will be a VIP family and friends grand opening celebration. From 12 to 4, there will be a season pass holder exclusive preview. And at 4 o'clock, the ride will open to guest. I'm also excited to announce that I will be attending the VIP event and filming content throughout it to be able to share here on the YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be able to capture a reverse POV of my first reaction to the ride. Lastly, before we get to the tour, here are a few quick construction updates since the last time we were here. The first is some new landscaping that has been done in front of the ride. And as you'll see in a few moments, this isn't limited to just here, as the park has been landscaping the queue for the ride as well. There's also a new path that has been installed both in front of the ride and behind the ride for maintenance vehicles, and there's no longer a muddy mess of a construction zone as there's been grass that's been planted as well. These both really help to spruce up the look of the park and make the ride pop just that much more. Another fun update that I'm excited to share with you all is that the building seen here is going to be the merchandise shop. Now, this likely won't be open by opening day at the end of March. However, it should be up and operating in May. Expect to be able to buy t-shirts and other various coaster merchandise here related to Airy Force One. Funspot really hasn't dove into true coaster merch before, and they're excited to do this for the very first time. And I'm not sure what it is, I was able to confirm that the Airy Force One gift or gifts associated with the Ultimate Season Pass would be some of these items. Lastly, there's going to be multiple signs across the entrance of the ride that can be seen from both the road and the entrance. You'll be able to walk underneath the entrance sign in something that'll look a little like this, except with legs that you're going to be able to walk through. There's also going to be signage on the side of the station and the front of the ride itself. These signs are currently in production and may or may not be available for opening day. However, they will be there as soon as possible and you know they're going to look incredible once they're there. The Airy family and Fun Spot as a whole just want this ride to be open and for people to be able to enjoy it at this point. Now without further ado, let's get on some testing and a sneak peek of the ride for the very first time. I'll jump in to fill in some holes and give some stats about the ride, but other than that, take a listen and enjoy this exclusive sneak peek of the ride given by John Airy Jr. himself. And then, um, so once you walk through, we want some people wanting to, you know, take photos and everything Yeah. Else. They come in here. And you can wait on your friends or whatever to get off the, the main coaster. Now throughout the land scene here with the grass, people are probably wondering why are the lights still there? And that's because John Airy Jr. has plans of putting further rides there right next to Airy Force One. He wants it to be able to be kind of a plaza where family and friends that don't like coasters and people that like coasters alike can ride rides together and then meet afterwards. And while there's more flat rides going right here, this also doesn't mean this is the last coaster because there will be more for both here and the other parks. These are the first signs to go out and working upstairs and all that. This is probably one of the pictures of that. Totally different inside. Totally like themed out. We've got a, a creative guy in-house that's gonna be doing all of this. So he's gonna be theming in the queue then? Theming in the queue. This is awesome. the queue is gonna come through here. There's two rails, there's, there's stuff going here and right here. Everywhere you see. And with that, we now know that the queue building is going to have theming. 
I would compare that this is going to be kind of similar to what we saw with Orion at King's Island. John Airy Jr. also confirmed that there's going to be a lot more barrels that look like these in there as well. Perhaps most notably, he told us that they have a creative guy in-house, and he's repurposing a lot of objects throughout the park to be used in the queue. Now, I'm not sure what this is going to look like, however, we will know on opening day. I'm surprised of you guys being able to see it on the first day, which I sort of feel bad. I mean, it'll be cool to see the transformation though. But everybody, you know, now everybody else is going to wonder what's going on, they're, they'll see your pictures, and then they'll see when they show up, they're going to be like, wow, that's pretty cool. So, mm -hmm. yeah, this Absolutely. is your exit coming out, you come out the actual building here. This building, this is a really cool thing, but we couldn't go another inch this way if you guys look at We're actually almost up against the beams here, uh -huh. and we have a 150 foot setback from the from the road over there, and we're literally up to the foot of that. So this building is absolutely maximum. Yeah, you're you're maximally using this land, that's for sure. 100%. And then I just wanted to show you all this. Uh, to me, I look at that lift hill, it's the biggest coaster I've ever built, once about to ever built my no, Absolutely. Dad. And I look at that, I'm just like, I'm amazed by how big it is. It's just truly, here, let me walk you up here. Which this will all be blocked off coming. Grand opening, there's a gate that comes here. Mm -hmm. So nobody's going to have access to it. So the gate right here, gotcha. This is the MCC building, where all the controls are. We're obviously working on... Uh, Hey, Brian, there's the mastermind behind all the electronics. Thank you. <laughs> Good work. Yeah, this guy is a genius. He's awesome. You know, he's done a lot of the coaching that we've done before. Keep up the amazing work. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Doing a little bit of modification at the moment. But Absolutely. <laughs> this guy. Right here is the brains of everything. That's the brains of the whole ride right there. Yep, that's the POC. This is basically our inputs and outputs, which okay. is goes to all of our sensors, all of our uh, lights, solenoids, everything that runs the ride. So this guy makes the decisions, tells these guys what to turn on and off, our power supplies, everything's connected on ethernet. So we've got little remote boxes everywhere. Um, and then we have drives. Drives are almost like their own little computers that control motors. So uh, we have them, this is for the transfer motors. And then- So what do we have over here in this cabinet? Yep, are the station motors. Station motors. Yes, station one, station two, storage, the transfer table. And this big guy. That's the lift. That's the lift mode. Oh, you can see the size of the cables down there. That's incredible. Yeah. So that's our big guy. That's what takes care of us. Getting us on top of the lift, pulls all that weight up. You can't wait to be on it, yeah. Power through cables. Thank you so much for showing us this. Oh, sure. No worries. Like, to me, I look at that, I'm just like, wow. Now, just in awe, right? Huge, right? Tell me that's not amazing. You can look at it from a distance and everything else, but when you get up next to it, that's when you realize it's truly almost 160 foot. And that's just, that's huge. Huge. <laughs> that's huge. Thank you so much. And with that, the exclusive tour came to an end but the day was not done as they still had more test cycles of the ride to do. When we were talking with John Airy Jr., he shared with us that they have shaved three seconds off the runtime on this ride, and it's totally obvious in this footage if you put it side by side with some of the footage we took back in December. This thing is flying. Now again, we are all extraordinarily grateful for this opportunity. Getting this kind of exclusive access was phenomenal. He even let us hold the entrance side of the ride. Uh, it doesn't get much better than that. With the tour now done, Let's get on to some final testing footage of the ride.
Thank you all for watching. That was the 36th and most likely final Area Force One construction update. If you don't want to miss out on more exclusive Area Force One content just like this, then be sure to subscribe to the channel, as many more videos like this will be coming after the opening of the ride. If you haven't already, then also be sure to follow Georgia Coast Connection over on Instagram, your home for all things Area Force One. If you're feeling inclined, then you can follow me as well at Dr. Underscore Coaster. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.